back everyone i hope everyone is doing great in this video tutorial we are going to see how to extract stream from digital elevation model that is stem in arcgis so first let us add our dem and study area layers this is a dem layer this is study area so i am using srtm dem for this you can see here this is the scene and this is my area of interest or study area so the first step will be we are going to clip this clip the dem we are cut it to the study area you can see the search option over here if you don't find this here you can see it on the top now search for clip tool you can see clip data management cuts up cuts out a portion of raster data sets so double click and open the tool our input raster will be our uh, dem data output extent is study area check the use use input feature for clipping geometry and uh, maintain clipping extent go to the environments here raster analysis in the mask option select the study area now click ok so i'm just uh, changing the file name if you want you can save it anywhere by clicking this uh, button you can navigate to any uh, region of interest and save it so okay let us uh, begin the process so the clip has been successfully completed so you can see here we have clipped the raster successfully now let us go down to the step one by one first is we need to fill the dem so i'll be sharing this uh, document in the uh, description i'll be just giving the link you can just download the document you can just go through this document clearly so first is we are going to fill once again go to the search and type in fill and hit the button search now you can see the fill spatial analysis double click and open the tool here our input raster will be clipped them and the you can save the output so i'm going to name it fill okay okay fill one now let me uh, click ok to begin the process so the fill has been successfully completed so now let me unselect the dem clip and moving back to the word document the next step is flow direction as you can see here flow direction once again go back to the search bar now type in flow direction hit the button search flow direction spatial analysis tool double click and open the tool now our input will be filled dem so now it is done let us click ok so you can see here the flow direction has been successfully completed so the next step will be flow accumulation you can see flow accumulation and the output will be integer now here type flow accumulation and hit the button search flow accumulation spatial analysis tool double click and open it here first we need to input our flow direction file and the output data type will be integer flow accumulation one now let us click ok to begin the process so you can see here the flow accumulation has been successfully completed so after this we are going to calculate the uh, we are going to use the raster calculator in order to uh, extract the 
uh, streams. So let me show you that. So in the flow accumulation, go to the option properties. Here select symbology and select classify and classify it into two. And once again, hit the button classify. Here you can see uh, two uh, groups are available. So in order to extract stream, so I'm going to put a value. For example, let me put 4000 as a value. This value might be differing for each users. The value might be differing. Now let me click apply. You can see here the streams has been visibly visible, but uh, it is not uh, accurately coming. So you can refer it using your topo sheets or aerial maps and you can reduce this number or increase the number accordingly. Let me once again hit classify. Now I'm going to give 1500 and let us check. So you can see here some more streams has been added. So always verify it with your tropo sheet or aerial imagery. So for me, I'm going to choose 500 for extracting the stream value. Let me click OK. Let me apply it. Now you can see. So this is somewhat resembling with my topo sheet. Now click uh, OK. So let me show you to you in the Word document as well. So here, here the chosen values are not uh, fixed values. It might be changing based on the users. So for me, uh, it is requiring 500. For someone, it will be around 2000. For someone, it will be 4000. The value helps to find a greater details of the stream network. You, you should see the stream network, how it looks like. So now you can see the network, how it is looking like. And previously, when I classified you can uh, to 4000, the streams are very low that you have to understand properly. There is no standard value for uh, there is no standard for value chosen. In many cases, user experiment till the result matches to the tropo sheet or topographic map or area imageries. That is how it, it must be done. So now we are going to use the raster calculator. Hit the button search. So raster calculator you can see here. Uh, it will be available in the map algebra. If you want to find it in the arc toolbox, it will be there in map algebra. Now we are going to put the flow accumulation greater than or equal to 500. 500 is the value which we have chosen over here. You can see it might be differing. Please understand that. I'm just saving the stream 500 and click OK to begin the process. So you can see here this result has come up. So now let me change the color so that we can have a good view of it. You can see. So the next process will be stream link. We have to link the streams. So once again, go to the search option. So now I have given the details in the Word document. I'll be putting the link in the description. You can just check it out. And also I'll be giving how to download SRTM dem video. You can just check it out. Now hit the stream link. Here we are going to input the stream raster, stream 500, which we have calculated using the uh, raster calculator. And we are going to input the flow direction. Hit OK. So stream link has been completed successfully. So this is the output raster from it. The next step is to create stream order. So we are going to create stream order. And we are going to uh, use the dollar method. First, let us input the stream raster. 
our stream raster will be stream link and we have to input the flow direction So I have chosen standard method. So I have given the uh, details, what it is, what the tool do, what it is. You can just check it out. Now click the option OK to begin the process. So the stream order has been stream uh, order has been successfully completed. Let me remove the previous layer so that we can have a good look of the out, out, outcome of the data so you can see each color is for example the black color represents stream uh, first layer first order stream and the uh, purple color represents second order stream likewise after that you can see the next step is stream to features so we are going to convert this uh, to a vector layer stream to feature hit the button search open the tool stream raster that is we are going to input the stream order and we are going to give the flow direction here I am going to save it as stream feature ok after doing so Click the button OK. So the process has been successfully completed. Let me remove the previous layers and all. Now let us see the attribute. So you can see here the uh, stream orders will be in grid codes. For example, the grid code 1 means it is stream order 1, 2 means stream order 2. Likewise. And next is we are going to dissolve this because. Uh, you can see there are a lot, uh, lot of uh, streams are there. We are going to combine it based on the grid code that is uh, stream order. For example, a lot of uh, fifth order streams are there that will be combined together as a uh, layer that is a file. Now go to the option geoprocessing. And here you can find the option dissolve. Our input will be stream feature. It will be dissolved based on the grid code. Now here I am going to save it as stream and click OK. So it has been completed. Now right click and properties. Here go to symbology categorize it or you can just uh, quantitative here I am going to select grid code you can see here five stream orders are there now let me click apply ok you can see here let me add the labels as well So I have chosen the grid code, OK. So if you zoom in, you can find out the which uh, stream order it is. Likewise, you can do. Or if you want it, for example, you can use this also. Properties. If you want it to see it much more clearer. So here I am going to select grid code, apply, after that symbology, quanti, quanti, quantities, grid code once again. Now you can see here, so I have chosen this, apply, ok. Now label feature, here you can now clearly view which is the stream order 1, 2, 3 and 5. So likewise you can do. If you are having any other doubts, you can ask in the comment section. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.